Let's come play together. Yo, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of My Hot Local. This is a monthly video where we update you with what is going on within our toy community. So in October, we kickstarted with In the Name of Art Art Toy Exhibition in Penang. This is organized by Netflix Studio and 69 Resonance. Then we end the month with a big booth at TAGCC 2022, one of the biggest toy exhibitions in Malaysia. Stay tuned for a full video on that. Uh. Before we talk about the two events, let's look around what is happening within our toy community. After debuting his uh, Paise back in July at uh, Go Down Artist Market, Joe finally announced that Paise is available to be purchased. Only 15 were made, so don't be Paise and contact him directly if you want to get one. We have a newcomer named Tiko World, introducing his uh, first ever character named Not A Mad Boy. There are 35 being made in this uh, first version. If you are interested to pre-order yours, do contact him directly on his Instagram. There are four versions of uh, Fashionable Lawang in this uh, latest series. It's uh, smaller in scale compared to the original Lawang. They are available for pre-order on the Taobao store. Simply just search uh, Sook Wang and you should be able to get it. Evangelion is preparing the Fist 2.0 after more than a decade I guess. While doing so, she also did an auction for this uh, Marie Antoinette's head uh, on her website. Beside this, she also did some hard boy egg, pear and also this very elegant Queen Victoria bun cake which I believe is for the Fist 2.0 so stay tuned for more update on that. And once again, Kang Babla made more kebab toys for sale. And he even made his uh, wrestling kebab toys into Battle Royale Bundle. Michael Chua did an Uran Neko Sama art exhibition at Airspace KL. There are many customized uh, Uran Neko Sama can be seen at the show, as well as uh, hand-painted canvases and also artworks. In conjunction with uh, Solo Pecha art exhibition at GMBB KL, Uplex showcase uh, various versions of uh, Band at the show. This is also the first time we get to see Band 13. At the same time, JNJF Space is having his uh, I'm Not A Boy art show too since the first edition in Taipei. The Lopecha art exhibition will be held until 13th of November at JMBB KL, so do remember to drop by and check them out. Let's take a look at uh, In The Name Of Art 2.0 that happened in uh, 1st of October at Gurney Plaza. So back in uh, in the name of Art 1.0, we actually first time seeing the Ika Tepi and this time there are more versions of it that uh, appear at the show. Based on the color, can you name them all? One of the organizers, Tian Wei, also introduced his uh, character Mr. Cactus or Xian Ren Zhang, uh, whereby the cactus have uh, palm, human palm. Uh. So we met Xiao Ming at the uh, In the Name of Art 1.0 and this time even his grandfather appeared at the show. This is a crossover project uh, between Mad Sage Design and also uh, 69 Resonance. Characters from uh, Imaginary Wars by 69 Resonance also can be seen at the show as well. Juni Studio prepared three from his uh, The Classic of the Mountain and Seas series for this uh, show. This is also the very first time we see a new design for the Death Neko from uh, Vomit Thunder. So stay tuned for more updates on that. Kun Kun by YK Eddie Studio also made an appearance at the show. A more chubby version of the P. Ramli prototype by Urban Creatures can be seen at the show. It's after the TAGCC 2018 where the taller version of P. Ramli was seen for the first time. Izu made debuting her strawberry tin at this show, which later available at our booth in TAGCC 2022. Since the, our Koenig show back in March, where we see the uh, prototype of Ankumera, this is the first time we see the uh, painted version of Ankumera by Kawan Lab. RGB Daryl from Kamaboko continue to create more Kodomo for shows, as what we can see in uh, Penang and also at TAGCC.
B Project did uh, be careful what you wish for to be showcased at the uh, In the Name of Art 2.0, followed by Bloodthirsty Plant, um, Uncle Goldfish, Mystical Creature, 8:55 AM, Tired to Death, and some tiny mons for TAGCC. Speaking of TAGCC, at our booth, Akunape created 10 unique best tracks whereby each of them has a different doodle pattern on them. Since Halloween is near, Little Poopy Studio prepared the Halloween version of uh, PP Mel. Only 5 were made. At the same time, Draw the Low did 5 junk sheet for THGCC. Metrovert created Mat Silao. Yo, what's up, bro? While Roti Kok made his uh, first ever toy, Xiao Hua Companion. Anjie An made 3 Jiro Riders for the show, while Sean Lon debuting his uh, Dino Kurita for the first time in public. SS Design Studio prepared Ikao Taiyaki version for TAGCC and Mr. Zianfi made Power Rolling Poly that come in a set of 7. Besides her strawberry tins, Izumate also showcasing her collaboration piece with uh, CH Chu named Dick Dog. Uncle Lucky making his uh, debut with uh, two versions of Uncle Lucky. Well, they are available for pre-order so contact him if you want to feel lucky. Panda Eyes Handmade prepared two new versions of a Kumo doll for THGCC to be pre-ordered. One is a Kumo Godzilla and another is a Kumo Pearl. At the same time, Panda Eyes Handmade also collaborate with uh, Sky Toy to release this uh, one-off Rainbow Udemons for auction. Mercedes Studio did some uh, Danny Bunny, which available at uh, V Projects and JNJF booth in THGCC. Caldron Collapse also had a booth at THGCC whereby Shokuma, Oshiet and Shok Om showcasing some of their creations as well. And we get to see some updated versions of uh, Shiet by Oshiet. Last but not the least, finally we get to see Tissit MK1 which is designed by Tissit and sculpted by UE the VTuber at uh, Tissit's booth in THGCC. And that's all for this episode. If you want to support us, there's a QR code for you to scan if you're from Malaysia. Otherwise, buy us a coffee with this link below. So to all the Malaysian toy designers, if you'd like to have your toys to be featured in our next video, just drop us a message or email us at mytoyhot at gmail.com. It is free of charge. Once again, don't forget to comment, like, share this video and of course subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, Keep hoarding.